Welcome to stage 12 of the 2016 Vuelta España. Countless attempts took place in another nervous start to the race. 44 kilometers covered in the first hour until finally a group emerged and that happened around the first category climb of Puerto de Alisas which happened at 49 kilometers and that was the ideal breakaway uh, venue and seven riders took took advantage of the steep and hilly terrain amongst them was the former red jersey holder Darwin Atapuma of VMC uh, two Revengeful riders being Garcia Brambilla of Etix Quickstep, Louis Mankis of uh, Lamprey Merida, the adm- ambitious uh, Frenchman Kenny Elisonde and Roman Hardy, as well as two Chris Froome teammates being Peter Kenner and David Lopez. And it was Lopez that was at the top of the first ascent. While Francis Florian uh, Senechal abandoned with stomach problems, followed shortly by Fabrice Gendesbos of Direct Energy. Atapuma crashed in the descent of the first climb and was but was and was forced to retreat back to the peloton. At the back of the peloton, uh, at the back, the peloton led by Movie Star maintained a gap of under two minutes thirty. This was vitally important because. Uh, Peter Kenner was sitting only six minutes behind on the general classification, so Movie Star needed to maintain an air of vil- vigilance in order to be able to protect the red jersey. Fifty kilometers from the finish, the pack raised the tempo, and Hardy and Lopez were dropped on the first ascent of the sec- second category. Alto de Viviero at 151 kilometers, which saw Kenny Elisonde collect King of the Mountains points. The leading bunch regrouped on the descent, but to no avail as the main bunch, led by Alejandro uh, Vanotti oh and, and the rest of the Astana team, was back within 20 seconds at the first time they passed the finish line which signaled 18 kilometers to go when the bell rang. The second descent of the Alto de Viviero saw Dries Devenez of I Am Cycling go on his own while the favorites stayed together. Andre Zitz of Astana and George Bennett of Lotte and El Jumbo and Matthias Frank of I Am Cycling as well as Matej Maminkin of Katusha uh, chased behind the Belgium but were reined in after a brisk uh, but vain attack, attack by Alberto Contador, one kilometer from the summit. Devens reached the top with a 30-second buffer over the peloton, led by movie stars Danny Moreno and by Bennett. But the Belgium was already close to victory in stage 9 at the Alto de Naranco and was pulled back with two kilometers to go, leaving the door open for a bunch sprint. While the strong finishers were left back in the peloton, Koenig had jumped with perfect timing to surprise the rest of the pack and uh, hand his team their second stage win after the one taken by Simon Yates in stage 6. Boulet and Philin had to be content with podium places. So in t- summary, but the Belgian Jens uh, Kukilere outsprinted a peloton depleted by the hills in the, in the long 193.2 km ride to Bilbao to hand his Oricke Bike Exchange team their second stage victory of the Vuelta España. The 27-year-old surged in the final stretch to out-sprint Francis Maxime Boudon of uh, Etix Quickstep and the consistent Italiano Fabio Filene of Trek Segafredo to the line on a day when the leading favourites had declared a little bit of a ceasefire. Colombia's Nairo Quintana retains his overall red jersey and Chris Froome maintains second place and Alejandro Valverde maintains his third place standing. That brings me to the end of my report on stage 12 of the 2016 Vuelta España. Be sure to like and share this video, post any comments, questions or criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. Remember, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and last but by no means least, remember, stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.